there, I'm Dessert Tastic, and today we're diving in on the wonderful season, spring. Now, I love spring, and spring is when all the leaves begin to get the little crisp buds of green on them, and the leaves begin to grow. We start seeing some spring flowers, such as crocuses, and snowdrops, and daffodils, and tulips, so pretty. Um, but also, baby animals are start to become, well, are starting to be born, and that's really special. And one of my favorite things is watching all the birds migrate. I have lots of birds that migrate to my backyard, and they have their babies in bird boxes, and ducks come, and they have little baby ducklings. Well, I guess they're just ducks or just ducklings, but oh, they're so cute, and I love them, and they're so special. Um, I just love ducks. I love, love, love ducks. They're so cute. And the little yellow babies, oh, magical. And that is why spring is so special. The earth kind of wakes up from its sleepy sl slumber of winter. And you can almost smell that lovely air when like the world is waking up. It almost has a different smell to it in the spring. So we're going to dive on in and explore some spring ideas. But here is a fact for you. Did you know, are you listening? It is not spring all the time all over the world. It's true. So when it is spring in the Northern Hemisphere, it's actually fall or autumn in the Southern Hemisphere. Right? So sometimes, some people are having spring and some people are having autumn. But also, it's vice versa. So if we're having autumn, they're having spring, or somebody in the northern hemisphere is having autumn, the southern hemisphere is having spring. Or when the northern hemisphere is having spring, the summer, the southern hemisphere is having autumn. I know it's confusing, but it's true. Just the way the earth is tilting towards the sun. So, that being said, let's dive in and make some art. nice thing to have especially if you live somewhere where you have very very short days and it gets dark kind of early. Common flowers in the spring are daffodils, tulips, pansies, hyacinths, and peonies. We're going to head on over to the art studio today and we're going to be drawing daffodils and then after we're going to make an artwork of a little baby chick. Let's head over and make some art. All right, let's draw a daffodil. So we're going to draw two lines out and zigzag lines back in. Curving line at the end. I'm going to add a circle around for the face. And then we're going to add some petals. We can add a line up each petal. We're gonna add an eye, a little happy eye. We can't see other one, it's behind the mouth. We'll add a little happy line there. We're gonna add a stem. We're gonna have it coming curving out like this and across because we're gonna squish it into this paper size. I'm gonna have one leaf come out this way. And another one. And then we'll thicken our stem up. And then let's add some grass. Whoa! Big zigzag lines gives it some expression. And 
then you're ready to color it in. You can grab your favorite art making mediums and colors and color in your daffodil. And I'm gonna use a white intentionally at the top for some highlights. to shade in my daffodil. Because daffodils sometimes have orange. I'm gonna change it up and try a different color. So instead of gray, I'm gonna orange, use orange to shade. And I can even use it on grass and Daffodil is done. Let's make our chick for the spring. All right, big U shape. Six eggs across, curve on the top. Six eggs across. down each side and a puffy puffy little wing on one side Feather textures all around with some curving line. Spots around, depending on your type of bird. Mine's like a little baby quail. All right, now let's paint it. Let's grab our temper paint. I'm gonna dip my brush in water. I'm gonna do my chick first. Dip my brush in the orange, not even rinsing.
painting my shelves brown, but you might want to leave it white or just shade it. It's up to you. Just like that, your little chick, 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 is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.